All right, to refute my previous proponent's claim, I would like to say that there are dangers of life in prison for the uh, inmates that have not been given death row, and it's, of course, unethical to do so. Um, to quote one of my sources, uh, the offenders that are sent to life in prison may still cause harm to prisoners and prison staff. To uh, use the Bureau of Justice Statistics, uh, for the third consecutive years, the number of inmates who died in state prisons and local jails increased. The Bureau of Justice Statistics announced today that a total, a total of 4,446 inmates died in 2013, an increase of 131 deaths in the past of 2012. And on the topic of innocence, the second affirmative stated, uh, quoted a case back in 1989, but with forensics now in 2016, <coughs> those issues are not really bound to happen anymore due to the increase of technology that we have these days. And to quote one of my sources, the death penalty is also placed upon the acquitted by a 12-person jury. Um, to quote Casey Carmichael, uh, there is absolutely no proof for the statement that any person is executed in this country. Of, uh, since that, before anyone is executed in this country, 12 members of a carefully selected jury have to decide beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty. Uh, the possibility of an, of an innocent person being executed is extremely small and it continues to decrease like I said, with the improvement of forensic science. And it is true that death row prisoners have been released, but it's not always true that they were even innocent in the first place. Um, on the topic of cruel and unusual punishment, uh, there will always be flaws and more technology will make it, of course, more efficient. Um, to quote Casey Carmichael again, two of the, uh, uh, just to use the source once more, uh, the two most popular forms of capital punishment, lethal injection and electric chair, are, are virtually painless. And um, to quote the pain that Nolan stated, it is far, um, it is far exaggerated that uh, the pain that most, uh, most death row inmates go through when they're executed. Um, I would like to push that we need, we need new legislation for death penalty states. Um, the, in, the, inadequacies of the, uh, the inadequacies of the current system make death row torturous. Um, also, that despite the high, the high costs of, death, of executing a death row inmate, the social uh, retribution is priceless. Um, to quote Ernst Van Den Haag, uh, we do not know whether the murderer on death row suffers more than his victim suffered, but unlike the murderer, the victim deserves none of the suffering inflicted. Furthermore, the limitations of Lex Talionis were meant to restrain private vengeance, not the social re retribution that has taken its place. Punishment, regardless of the motivation, is not intended to revenge, offset, or compensate for the victim's suffering or to, me or to measure it. Punishment is, is to vindicate the law and the social order undermined by crime. Also, justice and equality should be distinctly separate. Um, using the same article by Ernest Van Den Haag, the ideal of equal justice demands that justice be equally distributed, not that it be, be, a, uh, be replaced by equality. Um, and to sum this up, this also has been defended by legal precedents before by the Supreme Court in Greg v. Georgia. And to use the source that I used from Cornell University, the death penalty comports with the basic concept of human dignity at the core of the Eighth Amendment. In part, capital punishment <coughs> is an expression of society's moral outrage at particularly offensive conduct, and certain crimes are themselves so grievous and affront to humanity that the only adequate response may be the penalty of death. Thank you.